Hi everyone, welcome to our health and wellness channel uh, where we are going to explore the fascinating world of our skin and our immune system and how uh, we want to build that symbiosis uh, within our body with uh, all of the creatures that live on our body. Uh, so that's what we're going to talk about today and also today we're going to delve into the intriguing link between vitamin b12 deficiency and demodex mites as well as vitamin d so as a general uh, if you haven't heard of demodex mites they are tiny microscopic creatures that reside in our hair follicles or we do have hair follicles on our skin, so they reside on our skin as well, and sebaceous glands on our skin. So they're just a normal part of our skin's ecosystem. And uh, the overpopulation of these mites can lead to various skin issues, uh, including inflammation, rosacea, and acne-like eruptions, including numerous other issues that, uh, that aren't as common, but they are still prevalent today due to the lowered immune systems. So we're going to teach you how to balance your gut throughout all of our videos, how to create that symbiosis in our skin ecosystem and our internal ecosystem. So understanding B12. So vitamin B12 is known as uh, cobalamin and it's an essential nutrient. It's a vital nutrient. We need B12 to function. Its role in our body is crucial for red blood cell formation, for our DNA synthesis and proper functioning of the ner nervous system. So a deficiency in this vitamin specifically can lead to a numerous amount of health issues. This can be fatigue, anemia, neurological problems, and of course, lowered immune system, which is the root of, of all of your disease. So the link between B12 and Demodex is obviously it's a lowered immune system. Recent studies have suggested that a potential connection between vitamin B12 deficiency and an increase in Demodex population has been something that we have seen. It can be an allegorical study, of course, from, from patients of doctors. And if you do feel better when, when you're eating organ meats, when you're eating red meats, if you do feel better, you continue it because you are replenishing that nutrient store, the B12 store that, that you so desperately need that your body is asking and craving for. One hypothesis is that a lack of vitamin B12 may weaken the skin's immune response. So it makes us susceptible to mite infestations. Additionally, vitamin B12 plays a huge role in regulating the skin's production of oils and an imbalanced oil production like the sebace the sebum which is the food of the demodex mite it's sebum it and irregular a deficiency in b12 imbalances that sebum hmm, that's something to think about right but it creates an environment that is uh, very conducive and very very friendly for this demodex proliferation so I would say that we have to address that issue. Any nutrient deficiencies we have to address because you are creating an ecosystem that is friendly for this demodex infestation on your skin and your body. It's the same internally as externally. We, are, we have to balance those uh, vitamins and minerals and the whole immune response. So if you are suspecting you have a B12 deficiency and you are experiencing skin issues that you believe are demodex related, you have uh, itching, irritation, crawling sensation at nights, and it tortures a lot of people, the crawling and the sleepless nights. So if you are experiencing that, it can be something very simple as a nutrient deficiency. So it is very important to, to gain knowledge about what's going on with you. I know doctors aren't very helpful in that regard and I'm, I, I'm not a doctor so I can't diagnose you. But if you would like to watch the videos or gain some knowledge about uh, deficiencies, nutrient deficiencies and how they impact our immune system, this is a great starting point for you. Changes in supplementation is great, but I would first consider diet. 
a balanced diet and proper nutrition is key to maintaining uh, these tiny little bugs on our skin. So be sure to include vitamin B12 foods in our diet, such as red meat, and you do need fatty red meat. Uh, you need fish, but I would say the highest prevalence of B12 is in red meat and liver. Uh, I know liver isn't your most favorite to many people, but there are liver supplements and uh, there is a way. You can freeze liver and blend it in a smoothie. It's it's There's really not much of a taste if you're able to mask it uh, a little bit. And it's it's for our health benefits. So think of it as something it's a, that it's a medicine for you, which it is a medicine and not all medicines are good. Vitamin B12 is really very important, but there are different B vitamins, which all are all are contained in red meat and liver and organ meats, of course. Uh, these deficiencies can be vitamin B6, uh, it's perdoxin, vitamin B2 riboflavin, and vitamin B12 cobalamin, that's the one that we were discussing. So all of these deficiencies can weaken the immune system and creating a prevalent and susceptible, acceptable environment to various issues, especially Demodex proliferation. Vitamin B6, which is Prodoxin, this vitamin is important for immune function. Uh, it can impair the body's ability to fight off infections, and uh, this does allow the mites to thrive because it is an infection. Riboflavin, vitamin, v, vitamin B2 is important as well. It is very, very important in maintaining our healthy skin uh, and the mucous membranes within our body. So this can lead to skin disorders as well. And of course, vitamin B12 is very important. There is another one. So I know this, more, this is more of a general video that's more generalized, but there are the B vitamins and then there's vitamin D deficiency, which is extremely important in healing Demodex proliferation. So if you live up north, I would suggest move down south. If you're not able to, please make it a priority to consider making it a priority to go to a tanning salon at least and get some of that UV therapy. Also supplementing in vitamin D, I would say I supplement 50,000 IU and I live in Florida. So that's sort of something to gauge from. If you live up north, you need to supplement more because other foods, other deficiencies that you have uh, will, vitamin D does not absorb fully in the system. Only 60% absorbs in the system. So you do need to increase that dosage. Uh, and it is a different form. It is a different type of vitamin D when you're supplementing it uh, compared to getting direct sunlight. So uh, direct sunlight is, of course, the most uh, beneficial for you during 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Those are the best times to get the best UV radiation and the healthiest UV radiation. So these two, I would say this video is more about vitamin B12 deficiency uh, than vitamin D, but the two are hand in hand without them you still will have a weakened immune system. And it is very important to ingest B12 or eat red meat without any sugar because sugar does cause malabsorption of these vitamins. Uh, you, you don't absorb enough of the vitamins from the meat or the liver if you do consume it with sugar. Your magnesium stores are depleted as well. So I would recommend eating red meat on its own with some leafy green vegetables. So that way you are getting the vitamins and minerals into your cells, into your body, uh, and wait a few hours if uh, you have a craving. And make sure to separate those foods. Uh, but an ideal diet to heal your demodex would be to eliminate sugar and eat those very mineral, nutrient-dense foods alone so that your body is able to absorb them and nothing is blocking their way. Uh, it depends on also your gut permeability, so you might need more than a normal amount. It was so nice discussing with you the the deficiencies that you may have with Demodex proliferation and to consider vitamin B12. And uh, 
Thank you so much for watching. For more information on skin health and nutrition, subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for our next video. And please write a comment down below what you would like to see. I've, I've seen a few comments that, that have really that have been amazing and that they have helped me so much uh, because in the at the end of the day it helps you and i want to make videos that actually help you and actually uh, make a change in your life so it's so nice and please write a comment uh, and like the video so it reaches more people but so nice thank you so much